Okay, and now we'll put the hands together on this pretty eighth note part, okay? So here's how it goes. We have our right hand. Oh, and by the way, I'd like you to experiment with another fingering too. Let's, let's do this first. And we had ended the previous part like this with our fourth finger up on C sharp. And actually, when I play it, I actually do use five, three, and one. So why don't you um, experiment with that? I think it's more comfortable. It's comfortable for my hand, and I'll bet it will be for yours too, so. And then just leave five and three on here, and then just three, okay? I'm gonna change that fingering on my score. I think that makes more sense, okay? Then this part, we decided also to go five and one, so that's nice and consistent. Left hand. Okay, so here's how we put them together. So you can notice that you're playing an A major triad with C sharp on top and A in the middle. A, C sharp, E. Okay, and then left hand, we're also thinking about an A major triad, right? Except we're gonna use finger two here. Okay, here goes, hands together. Okay, I'll do it two measures at a time. So the ratio here is basically two to one except that we're gonna start with, we're not gonna play the first one in the left hand, so we do start with the right hand, so it's. So right, left, both, left, both, left, both, left, 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 both, left. Okay, and one more time. Right, left, both, left, both, left, both, left, 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 both, left. Okay, then the next part, two to one ratio straight through. Both, left, both, left, both, left, both, left, 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 both, left. Okay, so that rhythm is exactly the same as how the previous two measures end, right? The other one we went both, left, 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 both, left. And this one, same rhythm, different notes. Both, left, 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 both, left. Okay, so why don't you practice those two measures at a time, and then we can start putting them together. So now I'll put all four of those measures together. Let's do something new. Okay, so we just finished. Okay, so now I'm going to move my hand so that the fifth finger in the right hand is up on E, okay, and the thumb is on A. Okay, so the top of your hand, kind of think of your hand as being two separate things. We've got the top of the hand doing one thing and the bottom of the hand doing another thing, okay? So the, the top of the right hand is just playing E, E, E. This one I'm doing one measure at a time, and the bottom of the hand is just going back and forth between the thumb and the second finger, which is up on the black key. It goes like this. And just like the left hand did before, it's not starting out right on the first beat. It's going. Isn't that a cool sound? So I just put them together for you. So you're going to go 
five thumb, five and two thumb, five and two thumb. And here it is again without me talking. Okay. And while you're doing that, the left hand is doing good old C sharp again and a G. Not a G sharp, a G. Okay. Um, I'm going to use four on here. You can try using five. Where we're going to go next is to um, D. So it's going to go like this in the left hand. Okay, so I just did it with five and then moved to four on D. So try it that way, then try it this way with four on C sharp. And then you can use four again. Just slide it down. So you decide before I next see you which of those is more comfortable, okay? Let's see what the right hand is doing after this part. Do that again for you. So then we just do the E again and the A again. Then back up to the E, D, A, B. Let's look at this fingering. suggestion in the book is to use four and one. That feels pretty good to me. And then we'll use three and two on B and G sharp. Okay, let me play that whole passage. that'll work. Okay, now let's look at what the left hand is doing under that. So under this. Okay, so starting where the right hand is doing this, we're going to play G and D. F sharp, F, E, E, D sharp, E, then down an octave to the next E lower. Okay, let me do that again. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, now we're going to add it on to what came before. Okay, which was this, remember? with the right hand. Okay. Okay, now we'll do this whole new part. play you the whole part that starts the eighth note part and ending where we just ended, okay? See how you do on that? And when you've gotten that all down and you're ready for more, I'll give you the last section, okay? There's hardly any more. There's just one, two, three, four, five, 
let's see, one, two, three, four. It's basically four measures in a coda. It's just an A major triad, so you have most of this learned. How cool is that? So here's the last little bit. We've just finished this. Okay, so next the right hand starts alone. of a little decorative thing. So A, down, or one below, back to A, up one, back to A, and then we repeat A, this time with E on the bottom. Isn't that cool? So it's just A, A, A with stuff underneath it. E, F sharp, G, F sharp, F sharp again. So I'll play all of that for you. And the left hand okay. goes like this. Let me see if I like the fingering here. Yeah, I do. Okay. So look at that. Here we are again. A major triad. But we're going to start in the middle of it. And again, we have A's repeated with the fifth finger. Makes it pretty easy. Okay. And that goes like this. And here's how they fit together. you to notice also, Emma, how the left hand and the right hand voices are moving together. The A's are staying the same, but listen to how the other voices move in the same direction. Then up, then up again. Do you see that and hear that? And then back down. here. Now we're going to play almost the same notes except we're going to change the F sharp to F and we're going to use different fingers. One and two so that we can move, so we can play notes higher. It's going to go like this. And then everything moves down except for the A that we keep. Okay, so here top moves down a half step and the thumb moves down a half step. And look at that, that's an A major triad again except the E is on the bottom instead of the top and we have an A in the left hand. Okay, and here's how it fits together. Oops, I haven't shown you the left hand yet. <laughs> Here's the left hand. Okay, so we ended like this in the left hand. We're going to pick up the hand and start on D with our thumb. Down a half step, back up, two down to A, four on F, five on D, and then thumb on good old A. Okay, let's do that again. Here's the left hand. I'm going to suggest a fingering and you see if it feels good. Okay, so we ended, let me see. Okay, so we ended. Okay, now we're going to play the D again, but this time with our thumb because we're going to be heading downwards. So to the black key right next door, back to the D, then two on A. 3 on F, and pinky on D, and then we come back up to thumb on good old A. Let's look at that again. Okay, when you can play that easily in the right hand, we can get them put together. Okay, here we go. Isn't that 
just the most beautiful thing? Okay, now I'm gonna put, let, let's do that again. Okay, now I'm gonna put that together with what we just learned. Okay, so starting from the, okay, here we go. We just have a little ending to put on it. You're going to love this because it's the easiest thing ever. As you may imagine, it's an A major triad with the A and the E and no middle in the left hand. The middle's going to be up here in the right hand with the thumb on good old A. So we've got an A on the bottom in both hands, C sharp here, E here. Put the pedal down and just pull, pull. soft, gentle sound ever. Okay. Now I'll play you from the eighth note part all the way to the end. Okay. One, two, three. 